Good morning students. I am Betty Chelvi from Betty and Betty Neat Chemistry. Today I am going to give the previous year Neat questions for the okay, Neat 2021. Okay, let us see the question. Basic concepts lesson. Concentration of the solution. Now let us see the question. The mole fraction of the solute in molar aqueous solution is. Okay, they are asking mole fraction in molar aqueous solution. Let us see what is the thing is mole fraction that is called as zeta is equal to number of moles of the individual. We can write the individual number of moles number of moles divided by total number of moles. This is the formula for find out the mole fraction. Now let us see here the question is given as a what is the mole fraction of the solute in molar aqueous solution? That means called the thing is which is containing the mole number of mole of the solute is 1 and the aqueous solution meaning it is the water the, which is containing 1000 gram or we can call it as a which is containing 55.5 amount of the what is it called as a solute plus solvent. Solvent is 55.5 is the 55.5 is the solvent children and a solute is 1. So totally what I should do is 1 by 56.5. So this is on simplification gives the molar mole fraction. So how to simplify this one is simply I am putting this one as a okay children. Now the mole fraction of the solute in, in 1 molar, this is a correction, 1 molar aqueous solution. Since it is 1 molar, that is 1 molar solute is there in 1 kilogram, that is the 1000 gram. So 1 kilogram water is containing 55.5 moles of your water plus a 1. So total number of moles is 56.5. So this is we have to simplify of course. Here for simplification, here both numerator and denominator multiply by 100 and 100. So this one you can write it as a 100 divided by 56.5. We can write as a 57 into 10 power 2. So this is on simplification. 100 divided by 57. That is 1 point, 1 point. Here it is 43 and the next one is 0, 3, 99. We can get it, it is the 0.7. Okay, children, so we are getting here 1.7 into 10 power minus 2. Minus 2 means we can write as a 0 0.017 or 18. Now let us see the op options are there. Here it is, the option is C, which is matching with my answer. So now I am selecting C is the answer. Okay, here the knowledge is. The denominator is total number of most identification. Similar, remaining things of simple mathematics. I am going to the next question. Here 2002 question. Okay. One molarity under 2.5 liters of sodium hydroxide solution is mixed with. Another 0.5 molarity under 3 liters of NaOH solution. Find out the molarity of the resulted solution. So, what I am observing is, it is the law of mixing the solution. So, mixing up of sodium hydroxide. So, what is the formula is, V1 M1 plus V2 M2 is equal to V nu, that is called V3 and M3. Let us take it, this is the new one. Okay, let us substitute as it is. The first one is, 1 molarity 2.5 of NaOH. Okay, now I am writing your liter is 2.5 liter into 1 m plus and second volume is here it is 3 liter into molarity is 0 0.5 molarity is equal to volume 3 is just addition of volume 3 is nothing but m v1 plus v2 is the v3. Now just to add the volume here 3 liters and 2.5 liters. So you are having the 5.5 liter is the new volume into new molarity. So now what we have to do is bring this one on the next side. Now 2.5 into 1 is only 2.5 into this one you are getting is 
3 into 0 0.5, 1.5 divided by, bring up 5.5 in the next side. So, this one on simplification, we can get it. Let us teach, see children, 2.5 into 1 and here 3 into 0 0.5, this is plus sign. So, this is on addition, you are getting the 4 in the numerator, here denominator 5.5. So, both multiply by 10, you are getting 40 divided by 55, this on simplification, 8 by 11. So, this on division. So, 8 divided by 11, what you are getting is 0, that is called the 0. 0.7 times 77 and the 3, so it will have the 2. So, your answer is you are getting 0. 0.72. Let us see the, yes, option 3 is matching, C is the answer. Okay, here the law of first point is both chemicals of sodium hydroxide, so it is law of mixing. So, now first you are writing the formula. In the formula, we are seeing all the volumes are in the letter. So, you are getting follow the um, uh, substitution, you can get the answer. Now, we are moving to the next question. So, it is in the 2001. Find the molarity of the solution. Hydrochloric acid, if density of the liquid is, of the liquid hydrochloric acid is 1.17 gram per cc. Now, let us see what are the thing. They ask you to find out the molarity is the cosine of hydrochloric acid and the density is given 1.17 gram per cc. So, let us see what is the meaning of this. The density is, let us see one by one the formula first. So, what is the formula for molarity is M is equal to N divided by molar mass. This is molarity, this is the molar mass. <coughs> N means given weight by molar mass. So, now I am straight away I am taking here given weight by molar mass into volume in liter. So, liter can be given as in terms of ml is given. So, I am writing in the conversion factor of 1000 I am putting here. So, now this is the required formula for us. Given weight of hydrochloric acid substitute 1.17 molar mass of your hydrochloric acid. Your hydrogen is 1 and your chlorine is what is called 35.5. So, total is 36.5. So, this is the molar mass of your hydrochloric acid. So, given weight by molar mass. Volume is this is 1.17 gram per cc. Meaning is the volume is 1 centimeter cube. That is 1 ml. So, volume is 1 ml and it is converted into the liter is 1000. So, now let us go to the next one. On this one, I am multiplying this one, 1, 1, into 2000, here it is 36.5. Next, okay children, now here, 1.17 into 1000, you are getting 1170, here 36.5. Next, for simplification, this one, here I am splitting and write as a 117 into 10, here it, I am taking only 36. Next step, this one round up, 117 round up to 120 and 10 you keep it as it is 36. Now it can be divisible by 12. So, okay, 3 times and what you are getting is your 10 times. Okay, now it is moving 100 divided by 3. 100 divided by 3 is usually 33.3. Here what we are having is, option is, here C we are having as a 32. So, nearing, so I am selecting the C as the answer. Again, I am repeating, what is the hydrochloric acid density meaning? 1.17 gram of hydrochloric acid plus any 1 cubic centimeter. So, given weight is 1.17, molar mass is 36.5, 1 ml and this is 1000. This one on simplification you are getting 33.3.